Hey guys, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project doing a space weather update because things have developed since my last video. We've had two X flares, starting with an X3, followed by an X9.3 that lasted over four hours in X range, almost 10 hours in M range, and we've just had another small M flare here. What does that mean for you and I? Well, if we come over here, I've been watching Soho. Let's go C2 and C3 here. Let me play this through for you. And what's gonna happen if you look at the bottom of the screen at 11.54, I'm just gonna frame this forward. That's when the event starts. And watch this, at 11.54, Noah then cuts it out six hours and here's the end of the event that's what they've done they've censored this information so here let's go look at the same thing here and i'll stop it right before 11:54 utc and we'll see what we can see from the back side of the sun see if they've got us censored here there's the event to the right there's the beginning of the x flare there that's the x3 bottom right from the back side so there is a CME uh, with this and then look gone the X9 event X9.3 has been censored you're not going to be told about this you do not have much time to prepare this event could be similar to a, a miniature Carrington event let me just run this for you Uh, think of it as an EMP. Um, it's crazy what's happening here with the censorship. So you can see the event start here and we go, the proton flux goes off the chart. It was already up from the last event, the M flares, which NOAA has issued a geomagnetic storm warning starting on the 7th and going to the 9th now this x flare this set of x flares is going to hit us sometime in the next 24 hours during the g3 geomagnetic storm what that means is that all the things i said in the last video maybe times 10 could occur and i think there'll be power failures and brownouts there'll be human health issues and hopefully they're gonna give you a warning. So at the bare minimum, you should prepare by getting some batteries and flashlights for blackouts, maybe a week's worth of food, some extra cash in case all of the Mac machines fry, and it wouldn't hurt to protect some of your electronic devices in a Faraday cage, or figure out how to rig one up real quick. I'll give you more updates as we get more information or as more information is censored from us, thanks to NOAA and NASA. Be safe, everyone.